They're called mud races, and millions of Americans have participated. Awesome. I'm enjoying myself so much. Yes, we're having fun, can't you tell? Just look at some of the obstacles the racers endure. Swimming in water chilled with bags of ice and entering smoke-filled tunnels. <laughs> Believe it or not, these racers are running through live electrical wires, getting shocked along the way. <laughs> The danger signs are posted everywhere. Check this out. Remember, you signed a death waiver. They weren't kidding. The waiver says catastrophic injuries are rare, but possible and can include spinal injuries, paralysis, and even death. At one race we went to in Chattanooga, these women looked like they'd been through a battle. A doctor was on hand. I think she has injured or fractured her form. Some injuries can be much worse. Tough Mudder is the best known of these military-style obstacle courses. The vast majority of people complete the race without mishap. But look what happened in West Virginia in 2013 when this guy jumped into a pond of muddy water. He never came up. Go, 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 go! I hear people yelling. That's me. That's Brett you, Brocky yelling? videotaped the incident. Jesus We're all gonna get hurt, skinned up, bruised up. We know that's the game here, not to die. 28-year-old computer account executive Avi Sengupta drowned in the pit. His family is now suing Tough Mudder and others for wrongful death. The company has denied any wrongdoing. 23-year-old Brittany Williams and her fiancé signed up for a mud race with a different company in Dallas last June. About halfway through the race, my eye was hurting and it just felt like maybe I got debris, something in my eye, but I continued the race. She said the next morning she woke up and couldn't see out of her left eye. Whatever ended up being in my eye actually melted off almost all of my cornea. I have 20% of my cornea left at this point. There we, go. we wondered, is there something in the mud at race courses around the country that could jeopardize your health? To find out, Inside Edition producer Alicia Powers signed up for a race held on a farm outside Cincinnati. Mud was everywhere. No matter what you do, you're going to get mud in your mouth, up your nose, in your ears. You, you really can't avoid that. She took eight samples, and then we had them analyzed in a lab. The results were disturbing. Three samples contained E. coli, which comes from fecal matter. And all eight samples had Staph aureus and Pseudomonas bacteria that can cause skin infections. You do have an abundance of bacteria that can cause problems. So these mud environments are not sterile by any means. And there's a chance that you can get infected. Meanwhile, Brittany says she's waiting for a cornea transplant, hoping to repair her damaged eye. Ah, feels good! Tough Mudder tells Inside Edition safety of their participants is their number one priority, adding they always have medical and rescue personnel on site. They also say they take special precautions to prevent bacteria-related injuries by bringing in thousands of gallons of fresh water.